and so hopefully you can all see me. That is recording. So we're going to start standing up in our mountain pose. So basically mountain pose is just you standing. Um, so just try and bring your feet literally underneath your hips so you're all in line. Spread your toes out, so get really comfy on your feet. And your um, arms are gonna be by your side. So a bit like when we're standing, try and draw the crown of your head up nice and tall, drop your shoulders away from your ears, lift your heart up to the sky. And what we're gonna do is when we do our breathing, we're gonna inhale our arms out and exhale, draw them together uh, into our body. So we'll do a few rounds of that. And close your eyes if you want, um, or keep them open, but I just want you to try and bring that focus and attention onto your breath. So maybe try and um, close your eyes. So we're gonna start with a nice inhale, bring your arms out all the way. Exhale, draw your hands into your body. Inhale, lifting your arms up. Close your eyes if you can. Exhale, draw your hands into your body. And just find that rhythm, let your arms relax, floating up. Inhaling, drawing them into your body as you exhale. Inhale, lift those arms up. Notice the contact of the floor underneath your feet. Just notice how easy it is for your arms to float out and in. together as you inhale and then exhale you're going to fold all the way forward. Inhale come to flat back so your hands just underneath your knees straightening that back exhale fold forward. Take that right foot back behind you lift that chest up leave your hands to the mat push those hips forward. Bring yourself back to plank so flatten your hands plank Drop your chest and your chin down, sweep up as you inhale, flip your toes into downward dog as you exhale. Pad one heel down, then the other. And then you're going to bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Left foot to the outside of the left hand. Keep that bum down, reach your arms forward. Stay in that squat. Palms together, release those legs, stand up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your arms up nice and tall. Take that inhale, exhale, fold forward. Taking that left foot back behind you, dropping that left knee, keeping your hands to the earth, lifting that chest, push those hips forward. Bring yourself back to plank, strengthen those arms, lower that chest and that chin down. Sweep up on that inhale. Flip your toes into downward dog as you exhale. Taking this left foot to the outside of that left hand. Right foot to the outside of the right hand. Keep that bottom down, reach your arms forward. Staying in that squat. Connect those palms, inhale, release those legs, stand up nice and tall. Shuffle those feet so that they're underneath your hips. Reach those arms up, take a nice inhale, exhale, fold forward, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold forward, take that right foot back behind you, drop that right knee, and then reach both arms up. Taking that nice inhale, grab hold of your left wrist, take it over to the right, 
right wrist over to the left, and then come to your half split. So straighten that left leg, bring your hands down if you want to, trying to draw that chest, push that bum away, feeling that on that hamstring. And then bringing that weight forward, framing that foot, coming back to plank. Always able to drop your knees here if you need to. Slowly lower that chest and that chin down. Sweep up. Flip your toes. Down the dog. And then we're either going to tiptoe our feet to our hands, or you can do a little bunny hop. So you can soften your knees and then hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward, left foot back behind you. Drop in that left knee. Inhale, reach both arms up. Push those hips forward. Grab and hold that left wrist. Come over to the right. And right wrist over to the left. Coming back to centre, then come back to your half splits. So straighten that right leg, bring your hands down. You're just pushing your bottom away and reaching over that front leg. And then bringing that weight forward. Framing that foot, you're going to come back to plank. You're just going to slowly lower your hips so you're still hovering off the mat. So it's a bit like upward dog, a modified upward dog. And then you're going to draw your right knee to your nose. So we're going to come into plank, draw that knee into our chest, and then come back to that modified dog. Left leg this time, so draw that left knee into your chest. Slowly lower, modified dog. Putting that strength in our arms. So draw that right knee into your chest, tucking it really high, lower that foot, pull that chest through. Left knee to your chest. Slowly lower, pull that chest through, you're hovering your hips the whole time. One more each side, right knee in, <coughs> shush you two, draw that chest, left knee in, and then slowly lower. Lower your hips all the way, come onto your fingertips, lift that chest up as you inhale, draw that belly through, exhale, fold over, inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower, one more, <laughs> slowly lower, and then you're going to bring your hip over your heels into child's pose, so lift your hips over your heels, settle down, bring those arms forward, walk your hands over to the right hand side of your mat, bring that left hand on top of that right, Squat. So 
your heels don't have to be touching, but you might find if you like shuffle your feet out a little bit, you can flatten them a little bit more, or you might just be here, and that is your yogi squat. You might want to put something under your bottom to support you. We're just going to bring our triceps to the inside of our um, knees, connect our palms, inhale, bring those hands to heart centre, and then exhale, fold for, uh, release forward. Inhale, drawing those hands in, and then exhale, release. One more, and then just holding it there if you can. Lifting that heart up. And then gently release. Bring your hands down, lift your bottom up, keep your knees nice and soft. Interlacing your hands behind your back. Imagine I'm going to draw them over the top of your head. Resting your tummy on your thighs if you want to. And then slowly bringing your hands behind you, curling yourself up. Reaching your arms up overhead. Connect those palms, bring those hands to heart centre. And this is where we're going to lift our heels up and start to slowly lower our bottom down. So get yourself a bit like the mountain pose at the beginning. So really ground your feet, lift your heels up to the sky. And you're going to balance and slowly lower your hips down. Try and keep the heels nice and high. So only go down as far as your body will allow, because you're going to have to go all the way back up. So strengthening those legs up nice and tall, keep those heels up two more times. Slowly lowering, so you're almost coming down into that squat, and then lifting yourself up. Slowly lower. And then reaching up. Drop your heels. Now, this will be for our crow position. So, bring your feet just slightly underneath your hips. For me, I like to reach up nice and tall and fold all the way forward. So, your hands need to be flat on the mat here. So you're going to bend your knees, and as you bend your knees, you'll find they almost come sit on the back of your tricep. So, I'll come closer. So knee, hands are flat, again, like those tiptoes, lift those heels, and you're going to try and push your knees into your triceps. And then this is where you just lift one foot, or lift the other, and then if you want to try both, it's just literally balancing. Try and lift one foot off first and then the other. And then it's about bringing those heels into your bottom, really tucking those knees into your chest, using your tummy. So practice as many times as you want. You may want to put pillows in front of you, but it literally it's not even about weight, it's just about creating that balance. If you haven't found yourself on the floor already, bring yourself to a seated position <laughs> and cross your legs. We're going to reach up with both arms, bring our right hand down to beside our right hip. We're going to reach this left arm over, but we're going to pull it back into a cactus arm. So we're going to bend that elbow and keep that chest open. So reach over and then open it out into a cactus arm. One more. And then over to the left, left hand down, reach that right arm over, and then cactus it back. So you're reaching over, and then just keeping that elbow nice and high. One more. Nice. Gently twisting around to the right, Bring that right hand behind you, left hand to right knee. Be gently twisting that upper body round. Come round to the other side. Nice. 
keep that right knee into your chest. So you're going to bring that right heel right into your bottom, left leg is straight, and you're just going to hug this right knee with your left arm and gently twist that right body round. And then swap legs, so that left heel into your bottom, that foot is flat, hugging that left knee, and then reaching around that right hand to just help you twist round a little bit. And then coming back to centre, straighten both legs. We're going to come into a forward fold, so you might want to bend your knees a little bit. So you're going to reach up and fold forward. It doesn't matter where your hands go, it's just about drawing that chest down to your thighs. Again, lift, bend your those knees if you need to. And then slowly release him. Coming in to boat. So you're going to lift your feet off. Arms are going to be straight. You're going to come over onto that right butt cheek. Arms are going to come to the left of your knees and you're just going to crunch. So you're going to straighten those legs and bring them into your chest. Straighten your legs and you're crunching those knees in. Breathe in as you go. And then come back to centre. Drop your legs straight. Bring your hands either side of your hips and see if you can lift your hips up. You're almost gonna lift them up and back. If you wanna, it's like, this is about like trying to engage our hip flexors and using that strength in the lower part of our tummy. So you sometimes having blocks either side of you will help you lift and hold. I mean, some people can hold their whole legs. I can't do that. And then slowly release that hold. Bend your knees coming into boat on the other side. So left butt cheek, straighten those arms to the right of your knees, straighten your legs, and then you're crunching in. Breathe in as you go. Really trying to use those tummy muscles to draw those knees in. And then come back to centre. Drop your feet flat. Shuffle your bottom so they're literally behind your heels. And lower your upper body, ready for bridge. So your hands are flat, fingertips are towards your heels. Put the small of your back into the mat. Lift those hips up. Keep your neck in line with your spine push that bottom up. And then slowly down those hips, hug those knees into your chest, massaging the small of your uh, back on the mat by drawing those little circles. And then change direction. Let that left leg go straight. Bend that right knee and just draw it over to your other side of your body. So towards the left, just gently twist in. Draw those knees back to centre. Right leg goes straight, left knee in. Bring that left knee over to the right to gently twist. And then come back to centre. Hug your knees in. Bring your forehead up to meet your knees. Giving yourself that big squeeze. And then slowly coming into your Shavasana. So allowing yourself to relax into the mat. Either having your arms out in like a T shape beside you depending on how your shoulders are feeling. Or maybe you feel drawn to have one hand to your heart and one hand to your tummy. Allow your feet to go heavy. Rock your head from side to side just a little bit until it totally settles into a nice comfortable position. And then 
and just taking that time to scan your body. Relaxing your face. Allowing your shoulders to sink into the mat. Allow your inhales and exhales to get deeper. Really expand that chest. Feel your hips on the ground beneath you. Allow your thighs to relax, your knees, your shins, your feet, your toes. And imagine that inhale is coming from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head, traveling all the way through your body. And the exhale is from the crown of your head down to the tips of your toes. If your mind wanders, just bring it back to your breath, back to noting that inhale and that exhale, the rise of your chest, your midsection. to learn how to relax, how to unwind, find something that's relaxing, healing, soothing and available to you. Sit in the sun, sit in a bath, take a walk, soak up a view, let yourself sit and soak it in for as long as you can. Let yourself be still for as long as you can. Don't just do it once, try it often. Allow yourself to relax. Give yourself opportunities to unwind. Soon you'll learn how. Pay attention to what you think you feel when you try to relax. Watch without judgment, without your thoughts taking control. Just notice the thoughts that come to mind, how you feel, what you feel. Go as deeply into your thoughts and feelings as you are able. Sit quietly for as long as you can. When your body is done, it will tell you. Start to bring attention to your fingers and your toes by wriggling them, rotating your wrists in one direction and then the other, and then rotating your ankles in one direction and then the other. And then stretching, bringing your arms up over your head past your ears. Grabbing hold of your left wrist, bringing it over to the right. Right wrist over to the left. And then hugging your knees into your chest. And gently rocking from side to side. Slowly allow your body to drop to whichever side it feels drawn to. And then come to seated with your movement slow and your eyes still closed. Drawing the crown of your head up, dropping your shoulders down. Taking that nice inhale and allowing that exhale to travel from the crown of your head down your spine and rooting you into the earth. 
reach both arms up overhead, seal the energy in by connecting those palms together and then draw your hands to heart center. Connecting with your breath, noting that inhale and exhale. Feeling at peace and ease and grounded. Thumbs up to your third eye, surrender yourself forward, namaste. Thank you for joining me guys. Hope nobody broke a nose. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye.